I've decided I want to get all the painful weapons out of the way. So today I'll be getting the riot shield gold. Now I've actually been using one of the most masochist looking classes I've ever run, which is the bazooka and the combat shield. Oh, I guess it's called the combat shield, not the riot shield. But if we check our camos here, I'm almost done. I just need four double kills and let me go through the challenges real quick and i'll let you know how i got them done so for the eliminations obviously just ran up hit them uh this thing is a two shot kill in core a one shot in hardcore i've done most of this in core and then i switched for one game into hardcore and i just started racking up kills i'm gonna play a clip of that right here this is fire for double kills you got more i literally got a triple kill is it is it not one hit yeah it's one hit now i'm on a bloodthirsty So yeah, uh, I I normally am so so against using melee weapons in hardcore, but for the riot shield, it kind of works. Anyways, for our surgical camo, already backstabber kills. Backstabbers are a little tricky to get because it has the same problem that it did in Cold War, where melee and assassination are the same button. So a lot of the times when you're trying to get a backstabber kill. You'll end up getting like an assassination, which will end up inevitably getting taken or you'll die during it because the animations are so long. But, you know, the way to get around this is if you're at different levels of somebody, if somebody's standing on a box or up top something and you can hit them from down there, that's a backstabber kill. If they're laying down, uh, sometimes you can get it without the assassination happening. I don't know. It's it's all luck of the draw. I think uh, finishing moves might count as backstabbers, but don't quote me on that. For predatory ambition, the sliding kills were awful. Because this thing is a two-shot kill, when you slide into somebody, you not only have to hit them once, but twice. So what I was doing was hitting somebody, and then as they'd run away, or if they stay in the same spot, I would just try to, like, take a few steps back, sprint, and slide at them and hit them. It was actually really difficult. It was one of the last challenges I got done because of that. Because when you sprint, you have to move your shield off to the side, making you completely exposed, which is the complete opposite of what you want to do with a riot shield. So I was getting killed a lot of the time going for that. But again, in hardcore, it is a one-shot kill. So if you want to you try uh, hardcore go ahead and for reptilian this one is obviously taking me the longest because i don't have it done yet but hardcore worked very very well in the one game i played with it so i think that's what we're gonna be doing today when we eventually hop in and for dead eye the 30 kills while enemies stunned or flash just go ahead and cross out flash there because if we head on over to our equipment tab there is no flash grenade i don't know i think they might have just copied that challenge over from modern warfare but there is no flash this is an s mine 44 which is a stun mine i'm pretty sure because that's what i've seen from picking up in zombies so yeah you have to use the number 69 sex stun grenade and you know the stun takes a little bit to go off and as this thing as a double hit or a two hit kill in core you have to get the hit first then stun then hit him again so this one was a little tricky to get done i finally ended up finishing it but man this this was really really tough to do so the main class i was running with this was the stun grenade and the molotov i was running throwing knives for a bit because that's my ammo but the the molotovs really helped i would toss it down like a area or like a door or even at like a group of people and then i would just like slide in there try to get a hit making my right shield one hit i don't know i just used this to weaken the opponent before i got to him and i was also running dauntless that way if i did get an opportunity to get a kill i wouldn't just hurt myself with my own stun and stop myself from getting a kill or somebody would flash or just aim punch so immune to movement reducing effects is really nice i was running engineer mainly because i do have the bazooka as a secondary here i'm trying to get all the camos done for that as well so anytime something would show up i was i wanted to be as aware of it as possible and then for this i was running double time a lot just because that extra movement speed helped me get up on people faster you know it helped me get these kills a little easier but then i switched to tactician when i started to realize my stun grenades were way way behind so that's why I have Tactician on. Also, I was running, where is it? Not Force Gump. I was running the Supply Box because you can't have more than one tactical on you at a time, at least not off of any perk that I know of. I was running Supply Box. This actually recharges really, really fast. As the rate says, it's actually way faster than you'd think. So throwing that down every time I was out of stuns and I needed some, or I needed some mollies, or I just needed rockets for my bazooka. This is really, really good. And also taking these things out with the bazooka helped a lot for, for getting ground challenges done. So hopefully, we can get the combat shield done really quick i'll just show you my camo progress on the bazooka i have everything done except for the three score streaks in the games and this is going to be really really difficult so if i see score streaks in our next game i'm stopping to take them out but that is enough talk let's go ahead and hop in what mode are we going to play so they did add oh big map blitz what 
What happened to Zone Blitz? I guess they got rid of Zone Blitz. But there is Das House 24-7, which is our first 24-7 playlist of this game. It's been out three days, I think. We already have a 24-7 playlist, so that's pretty cool. But I don't think Das House is going to be good for our double kills, but we can try it. Never mind. I don't think it's in hardcore. So we're just going to have to play Domination, Patrol, and Hardpoint on the Blitz mode. Okay, we got thrown in a game in progress here on what is the name of this map? I'm still trying to learn it. Desert Siege. I like this map a decent bit. I've been getting a good amount of kills on this one. So now hopefully we can find some people and get some double kills. It's looking like they're upstairs here. Come here, pal. Just want to talk to you. Ooh, assassination to start it. Bop, broken domes, and I'm stuck on the wall. Okay, so I'm not looking like I'm getting a double kill off that, but there's somebody right over here. What's up, buddy? Gone. We got another dude right here. And block those bullets. There we go. I think I should have been playing hardcore all the time while I was using this riot shield. I didn't get to it till very late, but I could have gotten this thing done so fast. But we're still in desperate need of double kills. Any any spy planes up? I'm not seeing any. It's calling our UAV. Somebody just ran upstairs here. I'm pretty sure. Yep. What's up, pal? No! Now, I am, like, very, very reliant on my UAVs and my, like, mini maps. So, once this thing goes away, it's gonna suck. But I think it kind of helps me here with uh, the riot shield. Them not being able to see me on the mini map is huge. Let me through, please. Oh, come here. No! All right, I think I have a plan. I'm gonna try to flank as hard as possible. I'm gonna try to get way behind them and see what we can do here. So there's a guy right here at the door. Hey, pal. Okay. One thing I will say about the riot shield, uh, I wish there was kill cam so I'd be able to show you, but it doesn't completely cover your body like in previous CODs. And also putting it on your back does not give you protection anymore either. So with this, your toes are going to be exposed per usual with the riot shield if you're standing up. But also at the very top of the riot shield, your head sticks out. So if somebody has decent aim, they're going to be able to take your, your, the top of your dome off. Hold on. There we go. Come here. That's a double kill. Let's go. Somebody's in here. Or they were. What's up? Gone. I almost didn't see him. No! That could have been another double kill. I gotta not sprint when I'm that close up, especially in hardcore. Let's call in another UAV. Somebody's right here, and I'm dead. But yeah, this is probably like the worst integration of the ride shield we've seen. Mostly because it does not give you as much coverage as like in years past. But I'm sure the people that love to uh, complain about the ride shield are happy about that. But not the people that like going for camos. I honestly don't have a problem going for riot shield camos also just snipe the hell out of that spy plane but every time i use a melee weapon it seems like the person i'm killing is just extra salty about it i've always get like body sprayed or teabagged every time i like die with a riot shield it's like come on are you really that scared of somebody that can't even shoot at you and especially in this game where the riot shield is super weak people people get so big baby rage mad about getting killed with melee weapons i think we got a double kill coming up over here Never mind, he has a gamma bomb. Like, there's so many ways around a riot shield. that You have nades to take it out. You, Your head is completely exposed. All you really have to do is just outmove them. You know, create some distance between you and the person with the riot shield. There we go. And it's just, like, super easy to take somebody with it out. Like, if you take one second to think, you can take them out. But I don't know. People still love to bitch about them. Eat that molly. And I'll eat that uh, that bombing run. I think we just need two more double kills, which shouldn't be too awful. Oh my god, fuck off with the gamma bombs. It's the same guy every time. Maybe we should just take a different lane when we push. So per usual with a riot shield, what you want to do is if you're not near somebody, you sprint up behind them and then you can swing at them. But if you have some distance on you, you want to be crouching to cover your feet. Getting all that ready. Here we go. There's one kill. There's the double kill that we're looking for. But basically, you just want to play games with the people that you're, you're going against. If they're face to face with you, you want to just intimidate the hell out of them. Like, it's all it's all about mind games with this. Ooh, there's a person right here. Hey, buddy. Hold on. Get the bat. Bonk. Who's shooting me? We got intel to run, so let's do it. He's right outside the door here. Oh, they just climbed up. We'll go upstairs with them. Hold on. Get this guy. Hopefully, we can get the guy upstairs. Bring our double kill window. And he's gone. I don't know where he went. Oh, looks like he found me. But there's an enemy recon. Let's try to get it. But these just want to lead your shots a little bit. Okay, don't listen to me. I can't aim. Unless that one hits, then listen to me. I'm going to sit here and watch it. I'm not looking like it. But there's two recons, so munitions. Let's go. No. That one's taking off. Where's the other one? Please hit. No. Oh, we did it, actually. I thought I was going to miss. Let's go. If only we could got the other one, then we would get some bazooka challenges done. The three score streaks in a game is so difficult, but if you guys want to see a video on how to do it, my boy 
Cruxel made a nice little launcher guide. So I'll have a link to that in the description of the video. So that gas grenade. I've been using the gas grenade to help like slow people down because sometimes stuns, you know, after you're done with your stun challenges, obviously you need stuns to get that whole camo. But I think the gas grenades work way better at slowing people down. They disorient them. It's just real nice for getting kills. But now that the spawns have flipped, I don't know what lanes to take to try to get double kills. Damn. I think I just need one more as well. We're getting close to the end here. I just need two people near each other and then we're golden. Oh my Lanta. Please push that spawn and flip it. I think there might be people in here. Here we go. Gone. Nobody's up here. What the hell? There's a guy and he's gone. Oh wait, still hit another guy with the molly though. Easy adjustment. Here we go. This is our double kill opportunity. Don't run from me. Oh my God, he has a gamma bomb. <sighs> Just another day. There's gonna be the camo curse. The camo curse with the riot shield is just a different kind of evil. Why would you get closer to me? That guy was perfectly fine up in his little corner and he jumped down to me to die. Oh wait, hostile recon, hold on. Let me spawn please, don't end game. Please don't end. God damn it, no! Oh, we got camo cursed with double kills and our, our launcher camos. Oh wait, hold on, let's go, team MVP. Most finishing moves. You know, I had to vote for myself. Uh, let's see how close we were. Yeah, literally one away. This is this is an ongoing problem with me. The camo curse follows me wherever I go. All right, we're on castle now, probably the most beautiful map in this game. This is honestly my favorite. This is gonna be the background for my thumbnails for uh, the foreseeable future, but we need two double kills on this map. There's somebody right here. Oh, two people, actually. There we go. That's our last double kill. Is that gold? Challenge completed. 30 double kills. Woo! We got gold right away. Let's go. All right, backing out. You love to see that. They just hop right in, get the double kill, leave. And the best part about this game is that those challenges stay when you leave. The most goaded part about the Modern Warfare engine. But this is what the route shield looks like with gold, which is absolutely beautiful. I'd not, I have not put a single camo on my riot shield until I got gold. Honestly, I think it's a good strat because people think you have just picked it up, like you're brand new with it, and you can actually just slap them around. But this is the riot shield with gold. Let's do a quick preview on it. Ooh, this is what you're going to be seeing when you're using it. Just a nice little green or gold outline there with the all gold interior or the old black interior it's looking pretty solid what does the preview animation look like on it what preview animation just takes you out okay let me try that again it's got to be a bug preview weapon oh no i guess there is no preview animation that sucks looks pretty cool though this is what it looks like with diamond i'm not a big fan of the diamond in this game it looks a little better on a giant weapon like this but i saw on the on the subreddit today that somebody said that the diamonds look like thumbtacks and i agree the diamond camo definitely needs to be updated oh my god atomic this is the biggest weapon that we can see atomic on and it's absolutely beautiful this is so nice oh the inside is like damascus i'm in love with this mastery camo all right but let's go in game and see what it looks like in there all right this is what the riot shield looks like in game with gold uh, obviously you can see it looks really really nice actually the the nice little view you get here isn't too bad but you don't get to see too much of the gold. Also, there's no inspect. I wonder how an inspect works on a riot shield. I don't think I ever tried it in Modern Warfare, but it'd be cool if you actually like flipped it around and looked at it, like inspected your, your little item. But yeah, this is what it's going to look like if you're running around with a gold riot shield. This is from uh, your POV. Honestly, I, I had fun grinding the riot shield. Uh, melee weapons are some of my favorite weapons to do. I just wish I would have tried out hardcore a little sooner. I think I would have got this done a lot faster with it being one hit. Because normally with uh, melee weapons and hardcore, it's just a recipe to just get pissed off. So but we ended up getting it done and we got those double kills pretty quick, actually. So if you're looking to get the riot shield done, it's pretty easy. You don't got to level it up. None of the weapons that have like no attachments need to be leveled up in this game so the riot shield the knife all the launchers you're good to go to just hop in grind out all those camos so i highly recommend doing that but if you guys want to see me do a specific weapon make sure you leave those suggestions in the comments below i will be taking some of them but you know it takes so long to level up weapons that actually have attachments in this game that i'm going to be picking and choosing for most of them but you know here and there i'll grab your suggestions but anyways that's where i'm going to end today's video if you guys like this you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here Please consider subscribing and put out all kinds of Kyle content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys in the next.